Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Aaron Holmgren from Salem Lutheran Church in West St. Paul, and this is your midweek message for March the 22nd. If you're catching this early, you are invited to worship with us for this morning at 11 o'clock with a lunch to follow, or this evening at 7 o'clock with a dinner um, preceding it. So uh, those two events are happening today, but a couple other events to have on your radar is um, we will be having um, a Global Health Ministries packing event in Fridley on Monday, March 27th. It's at 10 a.m. And so the carpooling is going to be leaving here from Salem at 930 Um, So if you are interested in that, this is through the Health Ministries team. Um, They're inviting everyone to come to a packing event for Global Health Ministries, Fridley, Monday, March 22nd at 10 a.m. If you have any questions about that, you can contact the church office or the parish nurse. Um, Debbie Lee has worked to organize this, and so um, there will be sitting options for those who cannot stand during the packing event as well. So I wanted to get that on your radar because we didn't announce that last Sunday. And um, I, I should have. So um, that's the important one that's coming up real quick. Uh, a couple other things that are to, that are later in our season. We have um, the arts and crafts sale that we did last November is going to happen again. And so if you are a crafty person um, or you know an artist, uh, start um, working on those projects that you are willing to sell and or donate to our church for that event. Um, Gently used clothing sale is planned again for August, so you can start um, donating those soon Um, or right now, I think. Um, Yeah, you can you can start leaving your donations now. Uh, in classroom 109. Okay. And then um, Earth Day is coming up for Sunday, t- April 23rd. So if you have uh, ideas on how we as a congregation can celebrate Earth Day and, and the stewardship of this um, beautiful creation that God has given us, uh, please share your ideas with um, Becca Elling, as we approach um, Earth Day. So have those ideas in by April 1st. Um, I'm going to be out of town this week, and I am going on tour with the National Lutheran Choir from Friday um, to Sunday evening. So if anything comes up and um, you are in need of pastoral care, please reach out to one of the other um, pastors in uh, the West St. Paul area, Augustana or St. Stephen's. Um, we've, we've got a good bunch here. So um, outside of that, we have our normal things uh, throughout the season of Lent. We have our Wednesday night worships. We have our Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, uh, Easter family fun celebration, and then Easter morning with a continental breakfast for uh, Holy Week. And, um, oh, one other thing is if you are considering the Magomi mission trip, you have to um, have that as a firm yes by March 31st. Uh, so if you are interested at all in going on the Magomi mission trip, um, please ask around and figure that out um, before too long um, so that that can get rolling here. March 31st is the deadline, and I think there are seven yeses so far. So you will not be um, alone in this journey. And so that is it for the announcements. And it's time for just a short reflection today. Um, One thing uh, that was brought up yesterday during National Lutheran Choir rehearsal, we ran our concert um, f- from start to finish for the first time. And we've had a lot of other things going on in National Lutheran Choir that it's actually been two weeks since we even touched this music. So it was really nice to, to have it all under our belt um, before we go out on tour on Friday and to hear it in the order in which it was um, kind of crafted by our artistic director, David Sherwin. Um, 
And he talked through his idea behind this uh, program. And normally he doesn't do that. Normally he likes to leave it kind of a little open for interpretation so that we all can can um, get something out of it that, that we bring to the table. But I think because this is his last tour with us and um, he himself was a little uh, lukewarm on, on this program when he's programmed it, uh, he kind of walked us through his, his idea. And the idea was around... Um, Ah, my phone's ringing, so sorry if you hear that. But um, the idea was around the day, the the course of a day, and how we can start by praising God for a new day, how we journey through times of struggle, um, we ground ourselves in baptism, and then at the end of the day, we um, pray that God uh, essentially uh, is is with us on this this journey into the unknown, um, sleep um, that we eventually can can find our way home. And um, he talked about how this is an a journey for one individual day, but then you can also take it um, for a lifetime and see it as this this praising God for new life. Our, our grounding in baptism, the struggles that we experience in our lifetime, and then the the mysterious uh, great unknown of the resurrection that we we cling to and we hope for um, at the end as we are called home. And I really appreciated him working through that as how every single day that we experience on this earth is uh, kind of a microcosm of of a lifetime. And, and so we do not know how long our individual lives will be, but we experience it within the, the life and work of Jesus Christ and our loving God. And so every, each and every day we, we can start with praise and thanks. We can cling to the promises that God has given us and we can rest um, and ultimately rest assured that um, in God's loving hands, we are safe and secure. So I just wanted to, to share that, that thought with you because I found it um, reassuring yesterday in, in that rehearsal space. And um, I always like to, to share when, when a, an idea strikes me and um, maybe it will uh, inspire something with you. So have a great day and we'll see you around.